Welcome, my name is David Newton. I work for Hexagon. We're here today to show how to build a quick application in seven minutes using the Exalt platform. So, the product works by integrating data, and the data that we integrate, we then can build some uh, mobile applications based on that data. So as the title of the demonstration says, we're gonna go through and build a quick demonstration app in our seven minute window. So, to start with, we're going to pick a data source, and for the purposes, we've set up this seven minute app build data source here. So, what I'd like to do is start by building a data object using that specific data source. We start by clicking on the new button and it's gonna ask us where would we like our data to be based upon. So from the drop down, I'm gonna pick our seven minute app build. I'm gonna go and build the application over our products database. Um, it now wants me to give it a name. I will customize it with my initials so I can keep track of where we are with this. I'm gonna go ahead and save the new object. Now that I have my object, I'm gonna go and build a query on top of this new object. Again, I'm going to use the icon to create a new query. It wants me now to give the query a name so I can find it again in the future. To keep things simple, I'm gonna call it general. And I am gonna go ahead and save that. We now have the basis for our query. What I'd like to do now is add more information into that query. And to do that, I again go to my new button and I'm gonna to start to look for information I'd like to see and add to my query. So to start with, I'd like to give it a product name. I'd like to give it a couple of other fields that I would like to see in my query. And I'm gonna go and add those properties into my query. If I come back, you can now see that the ones I added have been included in the query. So when we execute this simple application, this is the information that it will retrieve from the file that we saw earlier. What I'd like to do now is add a little bit of a drill down capability to that data. So the way that we add the drill down capability is I'm gonna come back to my detail section I'm gonna create a new details. It wants a name. So because this is a drill down, I will call it drill down. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And now I'm gonna populate what information I would like to see inside of that drill down. I add new information with the properties button. I should save what I'm doing first, of course. What I would now like to do is add some information within that section. And for the purposes of the drill down, I would like to go ahead and look at the photo. And I would also like to see the unit price. Let me add those to the detail section. And that is now the basis for our miniature application that we've just built. We have done everything that we need to do. And what I'd li like to do is log on to the, to the mobile device where we just created this application and just demonstrate what it looks like our seven minute app. So we created it over products. So if I tap on the products button, this shows the information that we chose to display. It shows on the screen, we can scroll up and see all of our information. And if I would like to drill down that capability I added, if I tap on something, it goes into our drill feature and where we added the photo and the unit price. So that shows now how the drill down capability works in our app. 
that was a very simple example of building an app. One thing I'd like to conclude with is just to show you just a couple more capabilities of the application. Uh, a couple of features we built in advance were the ability to demonstrate how we can overlay data onto a map. So in this example, we have a list of customers and the map at the top, powered by uh, one of our APIs to an external service, shows a map and it shows a pin for where our customers in the list appear on the map. If I click on a customer, it has some information about him. If I tap on a nearby customer, it shows more information about that customer. I can tap on the information and we can see more information in detail about that particular customer. So that's a quick demonstration of our map feature. Another feature that is really nice is if we have, maybe we're an inspector on a floor and I want to work on a piece of machinery, I have the ability to scan a barcode from that machinery. Cool. I can use the camera on the phone or the tablet to scan the barcodes. And my piece of equipment will appear on the screen. So as an inspector, I know I'm going to be working on this piece of earth moving equipment. These are the details about the machine in general. And we have different capabilities where we can provide more power to the user. I just want to demonstrate one piece here where we can leverage an external information data source, which in this case is a PDF for the parts manual. So if I'm repairing this machine and I find problems, I'm able to locate parts for that particular machine. So that's just a quick insight into the power of the app. It can do many more capabilities, but it's just a quick demo for today to show you that some of the power of the Exalt tool.